history that some would like to ignore and leave in the past. What happened at this former reform school for boys in the Panhandle years ago could reveal years of abuse and even murder. USF is now involved in exhuming the bodies of youngsters who died there. But as Fox 13's Tanya Arjo is going to show you now, not everybody wants to know just what happened there. For years, these 31 markers have stood untouched. The truth about who is buried here, a dark secret. When USF uncovered at least 50 graves, 19 more than the state documented, USF said exhumation and skeletal autopsies would be the only way to know who is here and how they died. It will cost roughly $200,000. As Senator Nelson toured the site with USF, one Mariana resident confronted the senator about the town footing the bill. The senator was clearly annoyed that money was the priority. We want to be assured that there are no that we do not bear the full burden of this search. And you have given us some assurance there with the possibility of federal funds. Yes, I am. Can, uh, can, and could we be certain Well, uh, that there would be no, what, that would not be a burden? Let's don't worry on us. about the funding. Let's just make sure it's there to get to the truth. But the truth may be hard to take. Dozens of men have recounted stories of torture inside this building called the White House, beaten by guards until they bled and some boys never return. Elmore Bryant was the first black mayor of Mariana. He was never sent to Dozier, but says the attitude here and in town was like a fraternity. No one told the secrets and no one was ever punished. Nobody said it, but the truth is, so went Dozier, so went the attitude of this town. This town had, uh, in 1934, had one of the worst lynchings in the South. And that attitude pretty much control whatever came in here. Dozier had two sides to his campus. The north side held the black students. These cottages were where they slept. Rusty bunks still lined the walls. Dale Landry from the NAACP had hoped an FDLE report in 2010 would be the answer, but was stunned when USF found more graves. We thought they had exhumed something or done something. They actually hadn't done anything other than just look at records and based on what people say. Now USF waits for that court order to do what many say should have been done in the first place. State lawmakers have pledged all the money, putting no burden on Mariana residents. Tanya Arja, Fox 13 News.